All right, here we go. All right, we're in Canton, guys. We're protesting. We're here outside D&E Pizza. I'm looking for Jim Farris. Jim Farris said he wanted to meet me face to face. So here I come. Oh, he's sitting in the window over there. You, you can't see me yet. I got to sneak up on him. Yes. Here we go. Oh, there he is. He's sitting out there. Oh, he's sitting down. Okay, we got him. Hey, Jim, how you doing? It's Aiden Carney. How are you? Nice to see you. So I heard you wanted to talk face to face. Is that right? Well, here I am. How you doing, Jim? What's going on? What's the matter, Jim? What'd you say? Driving without a license? You don't have permission to record. I don't need permission. I don't need Did you have permission to yell, call women whores? Oh, you got nothing to say now. Big, tough Jim Farris. Nothing to say now. He was real big. He was real tough a couple days ago with Liza Little and the 2020 producers and uh, who else? Alan Jackson. He got real big with them, but he's got nothing to say now. Here I am. What's happening? How you doing? He's got nothing to say now. Jim Farris had a lot to say. He had a lot to say on Facebook. He had a lot to say on Facebook. He goes, come down here and talk to my face. Well, I guess you didn't think, you didn't think I was going to show up. You didn't think I was going to show up? Well, here I am, Jim. Come on. Where's Chris? Where's my friend Chris Albert? Is he in there? Where's the Where's the middle finger boy? What do we call him? Roast Beef Ronnie. Where's Roast Beef Ronnie? Where is he? I don't know. Roast Beef Ronnie, where are you? Oh, did, did they hear him? Is Chris in there? Oh, come on. Come on. Can I? How's your chicken parm? Mediocre or no? Oh, man, they're not coming out. So anyway... Where, where am I hearing? Are they on the roof? Where am I hearing them? Where are they yelling from? I'm here. Are they inside? What's happening? What's going on? What's happening? Here we are. We're at D&E Pizza. I don't know. Jim Farris. He had a lot to say to Liza Little. What do you call her? A whore? He called her a whore, I think. And then he walks in the middle of Washington Strait. Throws his eye. Ah, I'm really mad. I'm really mad. I'm really mad. Get out of here, Alan Jackson. Go back to California. Go back to California. I'm not from California, Jim. I'm from Massachusetts, a little town called Holden, right outside of Worcester. And we're here to peacefully protest. So, what do we got? What's our first sign here? What sign? How you doing, by the way? Oh, nice to see you. Nice. So, oh. Well, did you witness that? You're not on film. I am. So. Yeah. Saturday night. And the whole thing. Really? Yeah. And they, they were right in that lot right over there, right? Yeah, I'll show you guys. So that's the lot. What's happening, brother? How are you? So that's the lot right there. So the dude walks across the street and blocks them into that lot. And then they're stuck there. All right. So what do we got here? We got some pizza. What do you guys like? What else do we got for some? What else do we got for science here? Oh, we got this. What's this one? Oh, just a reminder, Chris Albert killed a man. He did. It's true. It's a fact. Chris Albert did kill a man. That can't be understated. What else do we have here? Oh, classic. Loser. Loser. What else do we got? What else do we got? Oh, the most important piece of information, guys. Colin was in the house. Colin was in the house. He was inside. People forget that. And then, oh, Jim Ferris. Hey! Happening. Jim Farris is rude. He's very rude. Weird. Hey, what's going on? So anyway, we're here outside of D&E Pizza, guys. We are protesting rude behavior on the part of D&E employee Jim Farris. Jim Farris is really rude to people. Uh, when a, an out-of-town attorney came down here on behalf of his client to go inside, see if McCarthy's right there, which looks lovely. It does look lovely in there. They go inside see if McCarthy's and he, I don't know what he's doing in there, probably some type of research for his client, but he, dude comes over here, cigarette boy, he comes over here and he starts menacing around see if McCarthy's like a tough guy, like, oh, smoking a cigarette, 
Oh, I'm a big tough guy. I'm Jim Farris. I'm a big tough guy. Oh yeah, nobody messes with me. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, Jimby, where you go? Why are you so shy, Jim? Why are you so shy? He's so shy all of a sudden. He's so shy. He had so much to say. He had so much to say the other day, but he's got nothing to say now. Jim Farris is extremely rude. He's very rude. Thank you. Nice to see you. Have a nice day. They are really rude inside here. They yell at women and they tell people they're unwelcome. They tell them to go back to California. This is rude pizza. They serve rude, mediocre chicken parm in here. They're so rude. Jim Farris, people, and you know what else they tell you? And by the way, Denise and Bob Galvin, I just went to your house too. We just showed up there. Denise and Bob Galvin live about half a mile down the road on Boulevard over there. So we went to their house. They got no trespassing signs up, smart, because I would have rang on your doorbell. When you put up the no trusting pass, trespassing sign, I can't go up to your doorbell. And that's fine, I don't need to. But I just want to ask you a few questions. Because the second, I mean, isn't that funny, Chris Albert, hey! Chris Albert can't fight his own battles. So what does he do? He calls up his freaking sister-in-law. <laughs> Is that even his sister-in-law? I don't know. He calls up his sister-in-law and Bob Galvin, and then they come down here with this guy, chain smoking boy. I don't know, we, we haven't come up with a name for him yet, but we will, we'll come up with a name for him. And by the way, Jim, I talked to your wife. She's a really nice lady, okay? You're causing her a lot of problems with your behavior. And I know as a fact, Jim, that you're not, she's not the only one you did that to. Uh, Liza Little and the 2020 producers and Alan Jackson aren't the one you did that to. You did it to another woman about three months ago. You chased her down and we posted your picture. Yeah, we got another picture of you out there. I mean, I don't know if you're like the DNE muscle. Hey, Jim Farris is rude. He's extremely rude. You're gonna get a side of sass in there if you got a chicken bomb with a side of sass. Hey! So, busy rush. I figured I'd come for dinner time. Hey! What else do we got? Jim Farris is rude. What's up next? Oh, blood pizza. Okay. They have blood pizza here, okay? Just to tell you guys, I wouldn't recommend the pizza here. Oh, they're putting, they're really putting up a cardboard box. Are you kidding me right now? What is happening right now? Who is it? Is that, is that Chris? It was Chris. That's Chris. Oh man, it's Chris himself. Chris has nothing to say. He's got so much to say otherwise. How come they know what he wants to talk to me? I don't bite, I swear to God. I'm not looking, I'm not trying to hurt you guys. I swear to God. I just want you to answer some questions for me. I just want you to answer some really simple questions for me, man. What's so hard about that? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, this is, what's this, a Thai place? That looks nice, and this is Thai? Oh, is that Chris? There he is. Hey, chicken pop, Charlie! Woo! Come out and play. I wanna talk to you. I wanna talk to you, Chris. Am I getting the white thing again? No, okay, didn't go there. Okay. So, um, it's rush hour time. Uh, we're gonna hold, we're gonna raise awareness. This is blood pizza in there. Blood pizza. Uh, the owner of this place killed a man. I don't know if you know this. Hungarian immigrant, about almost 25 years ago or so. Chris is driving along, probably a little glug glug, probably a little shit faced. I don't know for sure, because he left. He hit somebody on the highway, hit some Hungarian immigrant, foreign exchange student, Boom, dead. Doesn't stop, keeps going, keeps going. So murder runs in the family here. He has no problem killing a man. He went to jail for six months. The owner of this pizza shop went to jail for six months for killing a man. What, oh, can you police? Hey, I gotta wave. Okay, that's the guy they called last time. That was the guy they called last time. He was nice, he was nice enough. But, you know, um, I wonder, is he gonna call the cops again? Is he gonna call his brother Kevin? You gonna call your brother Kevin Albert? Oh, is, is Kevin going to make a phone call again on your behalf? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Oh, we got the, we got the blue lights going on over here. We got the blue lights. Oh, are they coming for me? What do we got here? Okay, here they come. Here he comes. Oh, who's that guy? Ah, right, here we go. Showdown. So he's going to ask for my ID. I'm not giving it this time. He knows my name. So we'll see. Blood pizza inside, wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't recommend it. He's very rude. You're gonna be treated rudely in there. Wouldn't recommend it. Oh, didn't even come. 
going to see if McCarthy's. <laughs> you like that? That's that's right. See that right there? The police come. I'm the mayor of this town. I'm the mayor. You can't arrest the mayor of this town. You can't arrest the mayor of this town. Wouldn't recommend it. Blood Maybe pizza. Called. What? Maybe they called. Maybe they. I mean, I'm not bothering them. I'm not bothering them. They see all those patrons came out from CF McCarthy's. I got nothing against CF McCarthy's. Nothing against them. Nothing against CF McCarthy's. I'm sure they have a lovely brunch in there. They have a lovely brunch, I'm sure. So, how's it going? How are you? Nice, nice to see you. Did you enjoy your meal? What? Picture? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get a picture. Hold on. We're gonna. I'll talk about it in a second. Hold on. We gotta do a picture real quick. Okay. Oh shit! Oh crap! Turn around. Turn around. Worst for taking pictures. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Sorry. You gotta do a be real and get grandma on the background. Uh, there you go. Right, there you go. Okay. Ready? Thanks, turtle boy. Thank you. Keep doing Have a good one. Thank you. Day. Yeah, you too. Did he call the cops? Okay. Did someone call the cops? Okay. What's the problem? Okay, yeah, no problem. We're just peacefully protesting. They have really bad pizza here, and that guy is rude. I don't know if you know him. His name is Jim Farris, and... About a week ago, Alan Jackson, attorney Alan Jackson and the 2020 crew and Eliza Little, they represent Karen Reed, the woman who was framed in your town for killing um, John O'Keefe. She didn't actually do it, though. It was actually the Alberts. And so, um, but you know that. And so they're down here to do some, I don't know, reconnaissance work for their um, client. And so they went in there and that guy is coming out threatening them calling him whores and all this stuff. And so I, I write a blog about him on Monday and then he tells me to come down here uh, to say it to his face. Cause you know, he wouldn't talk on Facebook cause I invited him to my show. And so then I come down here and then I see him and now he's running in and he's crying. He's calling the cops. I mean, what's up with that? I don't, I mean him no harm. He just said he wanted to have a conversation with me. So I'm just here to have a conversation with him. That's all. Okay, cool. All right, thank you very much. So, yeah, <laughs> I can't believe this guy called. What a pussy. This guy's are really calling the cops. Like, you're wasting their time for that shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, I mean, seriously, this is what these people do. Oh, people. Hey, what's happening? Love it. Love it. I wouldn't recommend a pizza. It's covered in blood. Wouldn't recommend it. Would. Uh, tell me that's not a chicken parm. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to get indigestion. Oh, it's not good. What else do we got here? Um, so he, did you hear him when he came out? He was like crying. He's like, oh. He told the cop that every time he tried to get to his car, you wouldn't let him. Oh, police. I don't even know where his car is. He said, did you get the, did you get the whole interaction when I was taking that picture? Okay, yeah. gotcha. Can you believe that? You guys saw me. I didn't block him. First of all, I sat down on this bench, Forrest Gump style with him. I sat down on the bench with him. I wanted to have a conversation with him. You know, hey, Chris Albert killed a man. The man who owns this pizza shop once killed a man 25 years ago in a hit and run. He's a Hungarian immigrant. He killed him. His life was just getting started. He only did six months in prison and now he's on the board of Selectmen. This guy's on the board of Selectmen and he killed a man. I wouldn't recommend it. It's not good. Not good. Do you know this guy has like $60,000 in tax liens on him and he's running your town? He's in charge of like a $140 million some dollar budget and he's got, he doesn't pay his taxes. The pepperoni man never got paid. He's been sued like a hundred times, maybe like 10, Chris. Don't, I mean, are you going to sue me or what? Uh, that, that's not a hundred times, to be clear. Probably like a dozen. Lost every time because him and his wife don't show up. Julie Albert just had a default against her last week, last freaking week, right? So, yeah, we got, oh, we got more people to come. Hey, what's happening? Chris Albert killed the man. You know it. This guy knows it. Is that the guy from the video? That's the guy from the other video. For that other weirdo that does the YouTube. Hey, Chris Albert killed a man. Never forget. The guy that owns this pizza shop killed a person. Went to, yeah, he did. He did. I swear to God. Look it up. Google it. Six months he spent in jail. Chris Albert killed a man. He did. It's a fact. It's undeniable. We got the courthouse records. Got the courthouse records. He killed a man. That guy in there, he was elected to the board of selectmen after his entire family was responsible for killing John O'Keefe. Let's be very clear. A dead body of a Boston police officer 
was found on his brother's front lawn. His brother was obviously inside the house and so was his son, Colin. His punk son, Colin, was inside the house when it happened, when John went in there. John ascended and descended three flights of stairs and now these assholes are having it all covered up by their buddies at the state police. Hey! By their buddy. Oh, it's Alexis driving too. What's up? Yeah, let's do it, brother. Let's do it. You gotta pick. He, he'll take a picture for you. If you. Oh, just two of us. Let's do it. Chris Alba killed a man. Uh, <laughs> do, you know, do you know who Jen Lacey is? I think I've talked to her before. Yeah. That's my mom. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Tell her I said hello. I, I what will. grade are you guys in? Uh, sophomores. 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 Just getting out of school now? Huh? Uh, no, 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 we, no, we, we were at again. the library. Oh. My mom was begging what? for a picture. You're at the library? Oh, really? She, she watches you every night. Oh, does she really? Yeah. Well, good thing. Uh, you guys do sports or anything? Uh, not, not at the moment. What do you play? Uh, Tell uh, me basketball. Because yeah. you're like 6'1", so you better play basketball. Okay, all right, yeah. So, right. anyway, guys, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice kids. Everybody in Canton, like, tell me, it's a nice town. It's a real nice town filled with nice kids. Uh... And the nice community out here. And it's really a shame that the Alberts have to go and poison the society. And it's not just Chris Albert, too. It's also that load, John Connolly. Oh, my God. That guy looks like he's going to explode any minute now. Chris Albert killed a man. Google it. I think it was like 1998. Chris Albert killed a man. He pled. He went to jail for six months. Chris Albert killed a man. And now he owns a pizza shop in your town that sells mediocre chicken parms. And he's on the board of selectmen, and he only got elected to the board of selectmen after his family killed a man named John O'Keefe, an innocent Boston police officer who never harmed a fly. They killed him. He killed him. They have blood-covered pizza in there. Yes, Chris Albert killed a man. Never forget. Never forget. Do not forget. Blood pizza in there. Blood pizza. And, and where did my buddy Jim Ferris go? Jim Farris was here at the beginning, the guy that is chasing down 2020 producers and whatnot. Where'd he go, though? It's like he ran. He called the cops on us. The cops have already come. Obviously, the cops told him to buzz off because, you know, like, what are you calling for? Like, you're a grown man. Your feelings. Like, what, what are you calling about? Like, so, yeah. What do we got next for a sign? What do we got next here? What's the next sign? All right, here we go. Oh, loser. That's a classic. The guy who owns this shop is a loser. He's a loser. Ironically, his family goes around calling people losers. He's a loser. Chris Albert's a loser. He doesn't pay his bills. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Don't buy the pizza here. It's gross. Loser. It's covered in blood. Chris Albert is a loser. He's never won anything in his life except that election that he rigged. But he got all this money from all these other douchebags to get rid of a Yale Law School graduate, the incumbent. Can you believe that? They got rid of a Yale Law School graduate for some loser who can't pay his bills. Chris Albert is a loser. And so is Jill Daniels. Hey! She calls me a turtle douche. She's a turtle. Hey! Very popular out here in Cannes. They love it. They love it. I'm always here. No, you can't go to Cannes. People, they want to kill you. I'm loved here, man. Hey, what's happening? I love it. I love it. Loser. Loser pizza inside. Wouldn't recommend it. Loser. He's a loser. Don't buy his pizza. You get... Chris Albert's a loser. Okay, sorry. I already did. Okay. Okay. Loser! Chris Albert's a loser! Oh, we got some thumbs up here. Yes! Yay! There they are! Yes! I love it! I love it! I love it! Punk, if you think Chris Albert's a loser! Loser! He's a loser! What else do we got next? What's up next in the sign? Oh! Colin was inside the house. Let's never forget that. Colin Albert the son of the owner of this mediocre pizza shop. If we can even, I mean, mediocre is very generous. I mean, look at the cardboard, look at the decor in this place. Look at the decor. Okay, first of all, can you wash your windows, Chris? Can you wash your windows a little bit? I mean, look at this shit. Can you do something about the curtains? What is that? Look at how dirty that is. It's disgusting. 
And what the, uh, does he have the Christmas candles up still? Motherfucker still got the Christmas candles up. You gotta be kidding me. And then he put, hey, what's happening? He's a loser. Colin was in the house. Colin was inside the house. You better believe it. You better believe it. I mean, look at this. He puts up the freaking cardboard thing in there. No solicitors. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I just want to buy a chicken farm. They're open, they're open late. If you want to get mediocre chicken farm, uh, we'll see. All right. So Colin Albert is the son of the man who owns this place. He's a punk. He's a punk. He's got beef with the Advantage Boys. He threatens them all the time on Snapface. He does, and then he makes these videos. And he didn't like John O'Keefe very much. And he was never questioned. Can you believe that? He goes around fighting people. He's got a problem with the dead guy in the lawn whose house he was inside of, according to all the data, Colin was inside the house when John O'Keefe was killed. It's a fact, we were just there. If you guys didn't see it, we just recreated. You, just watch the video we just did earlier, man. We recreated Karen Reed's killing spree, alleged killing spree. I tried to, we, we measured off 62 feet. I tried to do it. I tried to go 24 miles an hour. Couldn't do it. Felt like I was going to die. Like, I got up to 19. I did three times. 19 was my record, right? To go 24, man, 24 miles. Dude, sick. Like, psychopath shit. Like, crazy. I don't think you could do it. I don't think you could do it. Especially in the snow, and her car's a lot bigger than mine. No way. No way. It's nonsense. It's complete nonsense. These people are lying to your face to cover for these scumbags. These scumbags in here who were inside the house the night that John O'Keefe was killed. We can't forget that. Colin was in the house. It's a fact. He was, he was inside. I'm telling you guys, check it out. The grand jury testimony said so. He's been grand juried himself. Colin Albert had to drop out of Bridgewater State because he's being questioned and investigated by the FBI for murdering John O'Keefe and covering it up. He was not even interviewed by Detective Bukaki or the corrupt Michael Proctor until July of 2023, a year and a half after John's body was found on the front lawn of a home that he was inside of the whole time. How did Colin get home that night? Well, getaway driver. Because some people think Chris was there. I don't think Chris is about that life. Too much of a pussy. Too much of a pussy. Chris isn't really about that life. His son is. And that's why I think Chris is mad because like, Ultimately, you know Colin wishes his dad was Brian. And that probably what, that's probably what hurts Chris the most, is like my son wishes that my brother was his dad. That's just a fact. I mean, sorry, Chris, it's true. It's true, and you know that. But you know, him and, maybe they can be cellmates someday. You, get, you can visit them both. You get the two for one, we'll see. I don't know where the closest federal prison is, but they belong there. That's for damn sure. They belong there. Because Colin Albert was inside the house. Colin Albert was inside. Don't forget that. Colin Albert was inside the house when 46-year-old John O'Keefe was murdered. He was beat up. They hit him in the back of the head with something. He had a gigantic gash to the back of his head. And then they let the dog chew him up for fun. The dog ate his arm. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? And then they took his body and they dumped it on the front lawn like trash so he could die from hypothermia. How, how you doing? What, don't get the pizza. It's not good. You won't like it. I'm telling you, it's not good because the guy, he killed a man. They killed a man. Maybe a couple actually. So, um, you know, who knows how many people these people have killed. They go around, they get away with it. Colin Albert was inside the house. You know it. Everybody knows it. You know it. Yes. 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 Colin Albert, baby, was inside the house. Colin, come talk to me, man. I just want to talk. I know, I, I mean you no harm. You're a real tough guy. You beat people up a lot, you know, I'm wicked scared of you. I get it, I get it. You could kick my ass, you kick everyone's ass. But just come talk to me, brother. I wanna hear where you were that night. How you doing? How you doing? So Colin Albert was inside the house when John O'Keefe was killed. He was, it's true. He was inside the house. He was inside the house when he was killed. It's a fact. Yes, how you doing? How you doing? Colin was in the house. Colin Albert was inside the house. Yes, he was. Yeah, Chris, we can do this all the time, man. I don't know who Jim Farris thinks he is. Threat he's being a massage therapist. He's going around saying sexist stuff to women, calling them whores. Like, that's rude. That's rude. If they come to your town and you call them a whore? What's up with that? What's up with that? That's rude. Jim Farris is rude. He's extremely rude. 
when you get your chicken parm here, it comes with a side of sass. That's what they say. Watch out, we don't want to get run over here. Oh, we don't want to get that. Uh, yeah, too soon, too soon. The people that work here know a thing or two about running people over, or at least making it look like they did. Well, Chris knows a thing or two about running people over. That's for sure. That's for goddamn sure. So, how you doing, Chris? Call Jim Ferris is rude. They're really rude in there. Do you know Jim? He's really rude. He's so rude. Jim Ferris is rude. He's rude. He's rude. The yes, look at this. Look at this. Free Karen Reed. There it is. You're very welcome. There it is. Free Karen Reed. I love it. I love it. You're, you're welcome. Keep up the good work. Yes. We're not quitters. Too legit to quit. I love it. I love it. Too legit to quit. I love it. I love it. Colin Albert was inside the house. Don't get your pizza here. They're really rude. Jim Farris is rude. He's so rude. He says mean things to women. He's really rude, especially to women. He yells at them. He calls them whores. He, what else does he say? He throws his arms up in the air and he runs in the middle of traffic. I think that was like a week ago, right? It was uh, six days ago, right here, Jim Farris, who chain smokes all day, probably smokes 100 cigarettes a day. I don't know what Chris is paying him to be his muscle. Probably not very much, because Chris isn't good at paying his bills. So I don't know, is it worth it? Is it worth it, Jim Farris? Jim Farris is extremely rude. He's extremely rude, particularly to women. And if you're from out of town, he tells you to go back where you came from. Can you believe that? He told Alan Jackson to go back to California. Alan Jackson is welcome in Canton whenever he wants to be. It's a free country. Liza Little and Alan Jackson are guests of the Commonwealth. They should be treated with respect and dignity when they come here. They are working on behalf of an innocent client who did nothing wrong, who is being framed for murder that this scumbag's family actually committed. And it's not the first time. It's not the first time. Because let's not forget, Chris Albert killed a man in the, in the late 1990s, a Hungarian immigrant. He rear-ended him on the highway and then left, probably because he was hammered. They got him the next day. He got a chance to sober up, and he got six months in jail. Six months in jail for killing a man. Can you believe that? And he's on your board of selectmen. He's in charge of your budget. He's in charge of the police. He's in charge of the DPW. Can you believe, what kind of shenanigans is that? And he hires rude people like Jim Farris. Can you believe that? Jim Farris is rude. He hates women. He's a massage therapist. He's a massage therapist. He's really rude. He doesn't like women. He calls them sexually derogatory names simply for existing. Oh, he's this rude guy. He works here. He's like the muscle. He chain smokes all day. He goes around chasing women around and calling them whores. He's really rude. He's really rude. Yeah, he wants to know Jim Ferris. Is he educating people? Yes. There we go. I love it. I love it. So the police have come. What was that? Yeah, I mean, I, need, I should pitch a tent here, I feel like. Because I'm not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Free Karen Reed. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Yes. Karen Reed is factually innocent. You got that right. She's innocent, baby. Well, yeah, the muscle ran away. He called the cops on us. Can you... Well, I'm, I don't hit people. I just... Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, he can't. I don't want to kill anyone. I'm not an Albert. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so, I mean, I don't know. Like, he wanted, he talked to Big Game, right? He said he was this, he was a big, tough guy. Would that matter? No, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Italians like to talk with their hands, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he's a Cantonite. He's Canton. And oh. you can tell, born and raised, one of those guys. Never leaving Canton, rents up on Washington Street. Just a real scumbag. I mean, the fact that he idolizes somebody like Chris Albert, that's sad. Like, if you look up to Chris Albert, like, come on. Life is not going well. I mean, I talked to his wife, that poor woman. That poor woman wanted nothing to do with it. I feel bad for her. She's like, can you leave me and my kids alone? No problem. I got nothing against you. It's just Jim. Jim invited me to Canton. Can you believe that? Just to be clear, I'm here because Jim invited me. So Jim on Canton Confidential Facebook group makes this whole post about how if anybody has an issue with what he did, come down and see me face to face to discuss. 
because he won't come on my show and talk to me over the internet. So I'm like, okay, I, I show up. That's what I, I pull up. Like people always say like, oh, show up, show up. No, I do. I actually do show up frequently. And when I do show up, they never are here. They're never here. You, check out the beginning of the stream. He runs away. He runs away. And then 10 minutes later, the cops come. That guy wanted nothing to do with Hey! Yes! 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 Colin was in the house. Jim Ferris is rude. He's rude. He's disrespectful to women in particular. He's really rude. He's not a nice person. They have blood pizza in there. Blood pizza. Blood, yeah. Blood flavored pizza. It's covered in it. Look, I mean, look at these curtains. Look at the, I love, I can't get over the decor, man. I can't get over it. The candle, the candle in the window is the best part. Look at that. I never took it down for Christmas. Never took it down. This is Albert decorations if I've ever seen it, folks. Look at this. Oh my goodness. A lot of renovations here, okay? Is he Chris in there still? Hey! Any, oh, it says any comments about the heat? Oh, there's, oh, no, there's another guy. Will result in a $2 additional charge. Hey! Blood pizza inside. They serve blood pizza. Blood pizza in there. It's, it's tainted with blood. They kill people. They're really bad. They don't pay their taxes. They don't pay their bills. They're constantly in court. They call people losers. Losers. Ironic. Talk about ironic. Holy cow. Where's my friend Jill Daniels? Jill, I know you're watching, Jill. Come see, Come give me a hug, Jill Daniels. I love you. Come down and talk to me. You call me a turtle douche. You call me a turtle douche. I'm not a turtle douche. I'm a real person, Jill. Come on. I, watch out, watch out. You're going to get hit by... Oh, no. She almost went full Karen Reed on your ass. Oh, shit. Hey, what's happening? Yeah, is he, is he nice or is he what? Is he, uh, yeah. Hey! There they are. Free Karen Reed. Free Karen Reed. I love it. An innocent woman was framed for murder in your town on the morning of January 29th, 2022. They covered it up. They covered it up. The Canton Police Department did not find any taillight there. There was no taillight until a corrupt state trooper who happens to live in your town named Michael Proctor showed up and started playing evidence everywhere. And guess who Michael Proctor's best friends with? These scumbags, these guys from the mediocre pizza place. Michael Proctor is their best friend. He has known them since he was a child. Yes, yes, free Karen Reed he had the shirt on. He had the shirt on driving by. I love it, I love it, I love it. Can you believe that? So Jill Daniels, so Jill Daniels is a good friend of mine, pussycat, and she was good friends. She graduated in 1998 from Ken High School with, drum roll please, Courtney Proctor. And you know who else graduated from 1998 in Ken High School and is good friends with them? That would be Sergeant Sean Good. Sergeant Good. He was one of the first responding officers there that day, and he found no taillight. He was one of three, along with Gallagher and Lank, that searched the scene, and they didn't find any taillight. But then, the taillight whisperer, Michael Proctor, shows up, and then 12 hours later, boom, taillight. Sprinkle some taillight there. The taillight whisperer arrived and did what he had to do. They got blood pizza in there. Wouldn't recommend it. Blood pizza, yes. They have blood pizza in there that's tainted in blood. Blood flavored pizza. It's the worst topping. It's worse than anchovies. Would not recommend it. Blood pizza. They got blood pizza in there. Don't eat it. Don't eat the pizza. Blood pizza, it's really bad. It's really bad. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. Oh, they put another board up. They put another cardboard up. Hey! They put another cardboard up just because the bot they didn't get the bot. They didn't get the oh they're high they hide like rats, don't they? Oh, I've never seen faker tough guys. I've never you know, and people are always warning me, Richie. They're always saying to me, they're always like, Oh, you gotta be careful. You gotta dude, they saw mediocre chicken parm in the center of Canton. Stop it. This is not the Sopranos, okay? It's a bunch of douchebags from Canton. No offense to Canton, but it's not exactly like Lawrence or some, you know, hard town, right? It's Canton. 
and they sell mediocre chicken parm here. What's happening? Free Karen Reed is right. Yeah, we're here. I wouldn't recommend the pizza here at all. It's not good for you. It's covered in blood. Because Chris out and did you guys see that guy the other day, Jim Ferris? Oh my gosh. He told me to come down here to meet him. And I came down here and he ran away. So, and then he called the cops on me. Yeah. Check out the stream later. Yeah. Chris Albert killed a man. Yes. Chris Albert killed a man. He did. It's a fact. Chris Albert killed a man. He thought nothing of him. He hit him with the back of his car. Chris Albert hit a man on the highway. I believe it was on 95. And then because you realize, oh shit, that guy's probably dead. Hey! Chris Albert killed a man. Chris Albert killed a man. He did. Oh, I got a high note here or what? Chris Albert killed a man. He did. It's just a fact. It's a fact. Chris Albert killed a man in the late 1990s. He went to jail for six months. He did six months. Hey! They love it. They love it. Chris Albert killed a man. Don't forget that, please. Don't forget that on election day. Hey! Chris Albert killed a man. It's a fact. Chris Albert killed a Hungarian exchange student. Can you believe that? Left him to die. Kind of a theme in the family. Kind of a theme. They will do anything to save themselves. They will do anything to save themselves. They don't care about other people's life. And if Chris Albert could blame that Hungarian immigrant's death on someone else, he would. He would. He totally would. They lucked out with the Karen Reed thing. They're like, oh, that bitch is just, hey, that woman was just sitting there. I need a drink. Hold on. Hey, the doctor's in. Thank you. Daddy's in the house. Chris Albert killed a man. It's a fact. Chris Albert killed a man. I wouldn't buy the pizza unless you like blood, unless your favorite topping's blood and guts. He did it. He did it. It's a fact. He pled guilty. He pled, at least he did that. Unlike other people. Uh oh, what do we got here? Did, was that an accident? Did she rear end him? Oh shit, did we cause a distraction? Oh fuck. Yeah, she'll be okay. Oopsie. Oopsie Daisy. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I hope they're okay. Hope nobody got it. I guess I'm a distraction. Of course. It wasn't me. It's not my fault. Not my fault. Chris Albert killed a man. It's a fact. He killed a man. He left him to die. Left him to die like nothing. Runs in the family. Brian Albert disregards human life. Where's Denise and Bob Galvin? They, hey! Hey! Chris Albert killed the man! Yes, he did! Yes, he did! I thought I was gonna get beat up again. They always say I'm gonna get beat up. You're gonna get your ass. Hey, go fuck yourself, too! You're so rude! You're so rude! That's an Albert friend. I got one. I got one go after yourself. Just one. Not too shabby. Mostly happy, except for that guy. He's grumpy and very rude. He's very rude. It's a theme with these people. What do we got? Oh, loser. Loser! Chris Albert is a loser. All of the Alberts are losers. They stink at life. They're not good at anything. They, the, the peak of their career, their highlight is going to Bridgewater State and play a little tackle football for seven years and then graduating with a degree in douchebaggery. I don't know. But, yeah, they're all a bunch of losers. And ironically, they go around calling other people losers. He's a loser. Chris Albert's a loser. Loser, loser, loser. Oh, yeah. They cl oh, no, you don't want to eat that. You're going to have heartburn, my dude. Sorry. Is that blood flavored? Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Would not recommend it. Would not recommend it. They got, check out their Yelp reviews. You won't be, di you'll be very disappointed, actually. You'll be very disappointed. You'll be very disappointed in their Yelp reviews. So, anyway, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. If you like greasy, nasty, <laughs> Albert. P yes, Colin Albert was in the house, folks. Never forget that. Colin Albert, 17 years old, was inside the house when John O'Keefe 
Boston police officer John O'Keefe was murdered in your town on January 29th, 2022, inside of a house on 34 Fairview Road. He was inside the house, not outside the house, inside the house. Karen Reed saw him go in the house. She saw him walk inside. She waited for him to text back. She had no idea that he was being murdered. Colin Albert was in the house, folks. He was in the house. He was inside when John was getting murdered. I don't know if he's the one that struck the fatal blow. I don't know. That's the police's job to figure out. But the police around here don't like to do much. Yes, Colin was in the house. Colin Albert was inside the house. Don't forget that, folks. Colin Albert was inside 34 Fairview Road at the same time that John O'Keefe was inside 30 Fairview Road, 34 Fairview Road, descending and ascending three flights of stairs. He was punching them. John got his licks in, though. I guess he didn't like that. So they had to get the dog. They had to get the dog. He got chewed up by a man-eating German Shepherd by the name of Chloe. And now no one knows where Chloe is now. And everyone wants to know where Chloe is. But nobody knows where Chloe is. Because Chloe is probably covered in John's DNA. So they had to get rid of Chloe. Did they old yell at her? What did they do to Chloe? Where's Chloe? It's not Chloe's fault that Chloe was trained to be a man-eating animal. It's Chris Albert's fault. It's Brian Albert's fault it's Colin Albert's fault it's the culture that these people have created don't you see Colin was inside the house he was inside the house yes he was yes he was oh yes he was is he okay I'm gonna go find him what'd you say is that her uh -oh. She waves. She seems like she likes us. Hey, how's it going? Okay, let's go find him. Let's go find him. Is he up here? Is he up here? Jim Ferris. Oh, there. I think they already did say hi. Where are you, Jim? Jimmy? Jimmy Ferris, I came all the way to Ken to talk to you. What's your drive? Where are you hiding, Jim? I'm not gonna hurt you, Jim. Just wanna talk to you, Jim. I mean you no harm, Jim. Come on and play, Jimbo. Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? Come on, Jim. Where are you? You came, I came all the way to Canton just to meet you, Jim. And you're not here. Did you stand, why are you standing me up on the date? Why are you standing me up? Oh, there we go, thank you, thank you. Colin Albert was inside 34 Fairview Road on the morning that John O'Keefe was killed. He, John O'Keefe was beaten inside that house and left out to die, yes. <laughs> Is that Jill? Is that Jill? It's Jill Daniels! Colin was inside the house. You're a loser. How, what's up? Guess what? Your skin looks great. Thank you. Your skin looks fantastic. Your teeth look gross. My teeth look gross? <laughs> I've never killed a man, so there's that. Well, you know what? You, you cheated on your wife. Well, but, 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 yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. did you ever kill a man? Did you ever kill someone? I don't know anyone. How old is your boyfriend? Like 80? You what? You're a homophobic boyfriend? boyfriend? I don't know. You're a homophobic homophob boyfriend. Do you have any boyfriends? Hi. Maritus is your boyfriend, right? Um, is he, he called me a homo. He called me a homo. No, he didn't. Yes, oh, that wasn't him. Colin was inside the house. We're we gonna talk about that. What do you want to talk about? Are we gonna? It's Jill Daniels. Uh, uh, Colin was inside the house. You know that, right? Do you know you're not a lawyer, you're not a reporter, you're nothing. You're I'm an award-winning journalist. I'm an award-winning journalist. Award I won three awards actually: 2015, 16, and 17. I won three awards in a row. No, you didn't. I won 15, 16, 17. I showed you them. I showed you the picture. I did a blog no. just for you. I did a blog just for you. Yes, I did. Yeah. Are you worried about Colin going to jail? But he got, why did he get grand juried then? Um, why did everybody? But I don't know, have you ever been grand juried? Yeah. For this case you have? Fact. You've so been grand juried. Case. How many people, how many murders have you been involved in that you've been grand juried? Why should I tell you anything? Why don't you leave my brother alone? Right because he's a scumbag, he's a loser. He's a loser. They, th they threatened Alan Jackson the other day and lies a little. I stand up for women, they called them whores. They called them whores. They called them whores. Uh, but only when they're being cunts. Only when they're being cunts. He called them whores. He doesn't know if they're whores. He doesn't know if they're whores. 
It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a term of endearment. It's a term of endearment. How do you feel if somebody calls your daughter a cunt? I wouldn't care because it's a funny oh, okay. word. It's right. a funny okay. word. It's a funny word. I really wouldn't care. That just happened. Jill Daniels. I got wow. to see Jill. I was just asking to, for Jill Daniels to came down, and then she came down. I got to meet Jill Daniels. That was awesome. Her skin looks great, by the way. Great skin. Oh my goodness gracious. Goodness. Did that just happen? Did that just really happen? You never know what's going to happen. Is that her kid? I was up there looking for Jim, and then I got conf And we had like, I've seen a hundred airplanes. I think, is Ken on a flight path to Logan? That must be annoying. That must be annoying. Don't get the chicken parm, you'll regret it, I promise you. Oh no, she's going to do it, isn't she? Ooh, I warned her. I tried to warn her. I tried to tell her. She didn't listen to me. She didn't listen to me. Colin Albert was inside the house, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening, brother? How are you? Yes. What do we got next? Uh, Jim Farris is rude. He's an employee of Danny Pizza. He calls women whores. He tells them to go back where they came from. He tells him to go back to California. I came all the way down here to hang out with Jim Farris. He invited me on Canton Confidential. He made this whole boo-hoo post about coming to Canton and face to face and I'm a big tough guy and blah, 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 blah. And so then I show up here and you know, he's got nothing to say. He hides. Like I sat down on the bench with him for five seconds and then he ran away from me. I mean, like, I'm not gonna hurt you, Jim. I just wanna talk. I just want to get to know you. I want to talk about why you chase people out of random pizza shops, why you stalk random attorneys, and what gives you the right? Like, why is that your job to do? Did Chris Albert pay you to do that? Why couldn't Chris Albert just do it himself? Why couldn't Chris just do it himself? Why does he got to get? Some, why does he got to get your chain smoking ass to do it for him? Weak, weak, Chris, weak. Oh, Chris, when are we going to have a conversation, you and I? Oh, 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 there he is, there he is, there's the chicken pie, man. There's the chicken. He looks so angry. They're so angry. Yeah, free speech is the worst. He's really rude. He killed a man, you know. Yes, he did. He killed a Hungarian immigrant with the hyphenated last name. Yes, he did. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he, he killed him. I think his name was Peter, actually. Bizarros? I wouldn't know. Poor guy's been dead for 25 years because Chris Albert stole his life. Yes, he did. He stole his life. Kind of a theme in the Albert family. They take what they want. They get away with whatever they want. They're big, tough guys. You know he killed a man, right? You know he killed a man, miss. You know he killed a man. It's true. Look it up. Google it. I mean you no harm, but you shouldn't go around killing people. You shouldn't go. So this is like the, I heard that this is like the welfare pizza shop now. Like everybody, all the douchebags, you know, in Canton, not all, not that everyone in Canton's a douchebag, most of them are lovely people, but there is a certain element of douchebaggery and they just feel bad for him. So it's like the welfare pizza shop. They just go around buying his mediocre chicken parm because nobody would be like, you know what I'm in the mood for tonight? Mediocre chicken parm from the murder pizza place. Let's go down there to the murder pizza place and get us some mediocre chicken parm. Oh my goodness gracious. How many, what do you think Chris Albert did with all his Turtle Boy shirts? Do you think he burned them? Do you think he, because he had a bunch. That's what everyone tells me. Julie was a big fan too. And so was John. Because I know Julie. What's happening, brother? How are you? What's going on? Jim Farris is rude. He's really rude. And he won't talk to me. Why won't he talk to me? Jim, I drove it. It took an hour and 50 minutes. Is that Jim McCabe that you were talking about? What? No, that was Jill Daniels. Even oh, better. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Je At least Jill will talk to me. Jen won't even... She just, I don't know, she won't answer my calls. She tries to get restraining orders on me. Yeah. Fails. Didn't get it. Yeah. Didn't get it. But uh, yeah, you'll, you'll recognize Jen. You can't miss the teeth. Can't miss the teeth. What do you, who do you, what do you guys think? What do you think is better? Jen McCabe's teeth or Jill Daniels skin? You tell me. I don't know. It's a tough one there. <laughs> Either way. Who's going to show up next? This is wild. We've been here for 45 minutes. I can't believe Jill Daniels showed up. And I had a conversation with her, and we held up traffic, and I might have caused an accident. Not me. It's not my fault. I'm just being free. So, um, Chicken Pound Charlie's in there with a scowl on his face. He opened that door up and saw me. You guys saw it. Did you guys see him there? Did you guys see him there? Yeah. Hmm. Jill wrinkled, yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, my God. I love you, Jill Daniels. Go to the prom with me. Where are you, Jill? Where you been my whole life? I feel like we got off on the wrong foot, Jill. You call me a turtle douche. Jim Ferris is rude. Yes, he is. He's a rude man, especially towards women. 
If you're a 2020 producer, you are not safe in Canton. He will come and he will kidnap you. That's kind of what he did. He wouldn't let him leave. He stood. You guys see that spot across the street there? They, they were parked in that lot. And then they got the pictures from inside D&E that you, you've seen, right? And Karen Reed was standing over there. And they walked over here into CF McCarthy's, right? Alan Jackson goes in there. And then Douchebag comes over. Jim Farris comes over and, you know, kind of stands outside. CF McCarthy's like a tough guy and then waits for Alan Jackson to come outside, and then he comes outside, and then he tells him, he calls him a whore, hey, Jim Farris is rude, really rude. They're so rude in there. And so long story short, Jim Farris invites me to Canton, right? An hour and 15 minutes. You need, look at Jim, look at Jim, okay? You need to repay my gas money. That's the least that you could do. You invited me all the way down here. I came all the way to Canton, down 495, to 95 because there's no easy way to get to this town right and then what do you do i come here you, i sit down on the bench with you and you run away you run away i thought you got a big tough is it because i'm not a chick is it because i'm not a woman jim do you only get tough around women jim is that what you do and call them whores hey jim ferris is rude he's a rude he's like the muscle for this place that's all he's got left Jim Ferris is rude. He's so rude. He's really impolite. He calls people hoys. He calls women, only women. He was really rude to Alan Jackson. He told him to go back where he came from. If you're an out-of-towner and you come here, they're going to kick you out because you're not from Canton. Yes, yes, Jim Ferris is rude. And the Galvin stink. They're stinky people. They're stinky poo-poo heads. They come down here as extra muscle because that's all Chris has now. Can't call Colin up anymore. Yes, I hear some honking. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's, hey, he's trying to run me over. He tried to run me over. His car looks exactly as I imagined it. Look, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Jim, where'd you go? What's happening? Wait, what's the matter? What's, what's your job? Is your job to call women whores? Is your job to track down women and harass them? Is that your job? Look at this car. Look at this thing. We got to examine this thing. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got the crown. Okay. Two oh, look at all the. There's like 100 packs of cigarettes on the floor. God knows how many cigarettes this guy smokes. Hey, little kid's yelling, turn it, boy. What else do we got back here? Okay, turn this around. All right, we got. Why would he just leave his windows down like this? I thought he wanted to have a conversation. I thought he wanted to have a conversation. People are saying, he did all, was that him walking at me? I mean, there's, oh my God, it's, you guys can imagine what this car smells like. Yeah, oh dude, oh, oh my goodness. What's in the back seat? Human hair? Is there any human hair on the car? What's this, is that human hair? I think I found a human hair. We're gonna have to get that tested by the woman who failed a proficiency exam. Interesting, where's Emily Fabiano's mom? Everybody tells me Emily Fabiano's mom is taking pictures of me somewhere. Where is she? Is she across the street? Should we go back over there? Can you believe that? They almost hit me. They almost hit me. That's so rude. So rude. Jim Farris is rude. He's a rude person. Yes, he is. Yes. Thank you, sir. He's so rude. He, yell, he calls women whores. This isn't the 1950s, folks. Can't call women whores. Can't do it. Women can be with whoever they want. None of his business. None of his business. Free Karen Reed is right, baby. Where, where's Emily Fabiano's mom? I told, I'm told she's taking pictures of me somewhere. Mrs. Fabiano, why don't you just come down and talk to me? Was your daughter in the house when John was killed? And why did she leave? That's my question. What's with all these 20-somethings leaving a party? Hey, yes. Jim Farris is extremely rude. What do we got here? Let's see. Look at those seats, dude. Oh, my God. Talk about a fixer-upper. Oh, and it's a hybrid. Oh, my. What the? Karen Reed drive this car. What the fuck? <laughs> what do we got over here? Okay, went to, he went to Bowdoin College. My ass. My ass. Did you really go to Bowdoin? So why do you, seriously, though, why do you go around chasing women around? What, what's your problem, man? No, seriously, I mean it. Come on. You said I'm kind and confidential. You want to talk to me, right? 
You said you wanted to talk to me on Can Confidential. You wanted to have a camera away, I'll have to talk Why? Why do I have to put the camera down? You like to perform on camera, right? That's what you know 2020 was filming you, right? You know I've seen that footage? You know that's gonna be on national television, right? No, you haven't seen that footage. Oh, I have Get seen out it. Of my way. Oh, you're gonna run me over? Get out of my way. You're gonna run me over, Get tough guy? Oh, tough guy! Tough guy! Tough guy! He's a douchebag. He's really rude. His name's Jim Farris. Really rude. He kicks women out. He calls them whores. And if you're not from Massachusetts, he will tell you to go back where you come from. So we're protesting him. Yes, free Karen Reed. She's completely innocent. She's an innocent woman who did nothing wrong. She's a really nice person and they're framing her for murder. Can you believe that? Free Karen Reed, right? I think so. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't get a read on her. Okay. Um, who knows? She might be a nice person. I don't know. Um, Oh, what is that? Don't get, don't, don't do it. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. He's so rude. All right, what do we got next? Hey, there they are. What's up, brother? Blood pizza inside. They got blood pizza. Blood pizza. I showed up for the, I showed up for the dinner hour rush. The welfare pizza shop. If you feel bad for him because he's got a lot of legal bills to pay and his pepperoni bills to pay and his credit card bills to pay, buy a pizza off him. You'll regret it, but you'll, you know, he's kind of like everybody feels bad for Chris Albert in this town. Not everyone, like five people, but people like Jill Daniels. He's the welfare pizza guy. They sell blood pizza here. The pizza's covered in blood. Chris Albert once killed a man. Never forget that. In the late 1990s, a lot of people forget about that. He's not the only, Brian and Colin are not the only killers in his family. He is too. It runs in a family. It's genetic. It's genetic, folks. It's genetic. What's happening? Don't get the pizza, it's covered in blood. What about the chicken pie? No, mediocre at best. That's being generous. That's being generous. That's being generous. Oh, it's not even mediocre, guys. I just said that to be nice. I just can't be too rude. But no, it's really bad, actually. It's like below par, below par, 10th percentile at most. Blood pizza inside, don't buy it. But of course, everyone knows that, don't they? Everyone knows. This guy's a selectman. Can you believe it? Look at this decor, look at this. This looks like a Lawrence, a Lawrence apartment right here with the, the decorations. That's a car. <laughs> look, look at this. Oh my God. It's a Brockton curtain if I've ever seen one right there. Look at that thing, folks. Can you believe? They got to renovate, don't they? Come on. Invest in your property, man. Blood pizza. Yes. Yes. There they are. There they are. There they are. Yeah, we need to get Dave Portnoy down here for a one bite pizza reveal. He'll spit it out. He'll spit it out. Oh, yes. Blood pizza inside. What else do we got here? What else do we got for a sign? What's up? Picture? Chris Albert killed a man. It's a fact. It's a fact. There we go. There we go. Chris Albert once killed a man. Yeah, let's do it, brother. Let's do it. Can't salute. The can't. Oh, can't salute. Can't salute to Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Can I also have one? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you. There we go. There we go. There we go. You guys want one? Hey, hold this for me. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't salute. There you go. There we go. Yes. Love it. Love it. I'm the mayor of King, Chris. You might be on the board of selectmen, but I'm the mayor. In my town now. Let's go. Let's go. Chris Albert killed a man. Yes, he did. It's true. Yes, he did. He once killed a man. A lot of people forget that. I'm here to remind you of it, baby. I'm here to remind you of it. He killed a man. Yeah, he did. He killed a man. I swear to God. I swear to God. Not. It's not just his son and his brother. Him too. Runs in the family. Runs in the family. Justice for Peter. He was just trying to get home. He's going to school, trying to get back to his family in Hungary, but he ran to Chris Albert. Yes, let's do it. Loser. You're going to have the loser sign. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> loser. He's a loser. Chris is a loser. He's a loser, baby. Yes. Oh, we got more people. Free Karen Reed. They're showing up. They're showing up out of the woodworks. I love it. For the dinner time rush. This can't be good for business, folks. This can't be good for business, but neither is his mediocre chicken parm. It's all bad. 
And only people that buy pizza from me or feel bad for him because he has to pay legal bills. He's got to pay a lot of legal bills because he gets sued all the time and he never pays his creditors. He's a bad man and he hires rude people like Jim Farris. He's, he's got people that join in. It's a rush hour. Anyone in, in Canton, feel free to come down. Be here for a little bit longer. We're just here to protest. Look at these. we got free Karen Reed signs. This is great. This is great. I love it. I, I love it. I love it. The beautiful people of Canton are here. We are protesting, baby. We are protesting. Free Karen Reed. Yes. Lisa. Colin was in the house. He was. It's a fact. Colin Alpha was inside that house. Yes. Lusa. Lusa. <laughs> He's a happy Friday, everyone. Yes. Yes. Colin was inside the house. And Brian never came out. Yes, he did. Yes. Colin was free Karen Reid. Free Karen Reid. Yeah, let's do it. All American. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I love it too. I love it too. Colin was in the house. Karen Reid is innocent. She's factually innocent. A week ago, her lawyers were here. They went inside to see if McCarthy's to do a little bit of uh, research. Oh, and where's Helena Rafferty? Come on, Helena, I want to meet you. You, you talk about me at board meetings a lot. I think you got the wrong impression of me. At least Jill Daniels will talk to me. She's my good friend. We, we don't always get along, Jill and I, but we have good conversation. Why won't you just have a conversation with me, Alina? I just want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about why your police department. Yes, we want justice. We want justice for Karen Reed. Yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. We want justice for Karen Reed and justice for John O'Kay because they killed him a year and a half ago in this town. And then they covered it up and they blamed it on an innocent woman and they thought they could get away with it. Oh yes, look at this. I love it in the infinity. Look at, look at all those kids. Look at all those kids. That can't be legal. That can't be. I love it, it's okay. At least they never killed someone. They got that going for them. Okay, let's do it. Colin Albert was inside the house. Yes, he was. What do we got next on the list? Oh, Jim, we're back to Jim Ferris's road. So there's this guy that works here his name is Jim Ferris. He smokes 100 cigarettes a day and drives a beat up Toyota that smells like hot dog water. <laughs> I didn't, I can't, I, that, I didn't come up with that one. That's what somebody else said about Richie. That was a good one. Um, and Kyle came up with that one. That was a good one. So um, he smelled horrible and he goes around sexually harassing women in town. Can you believe that? Yes, he's rude. Yes, Jim Ferris is a rude man. He's a rude person. He's so rude. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What do you say? I think he likes me. Yeah. Okay. As long as he likes me. We only got. Hey! Jim, Jim dropped the phone. Jim Ferris is rude. He's a rude person. He's a loser, as they say around here. He's a loser. Loser. Oh, I wouldn't recommend it, sir. It might be covered in blood. They kill a lot of people in there. Maybe not in there. Mostly on Fairview Road in the highway, but you know, or that there might be dogs in there, man-eating dogs. Watch out. Have you seen Chloe? Do you know where Chloe is? I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. We'll see if he comes back and gives us an answer. We'll find out. What else we got? What, what else do we have here? We have oh, blood pizza. We're back to blood pizza. Don't the pizza's covered? The red stuff is the marinara sauce, folks. It's blood. Blood pizza covered in blood. If you eat it, you're just as bad as they are. Unless you're really hungry and you're starving and you need food to survive. But other than that, if you're just eating it for fun, probably go to another pizza shop. There's definitely alternatives in can that are better. Less mediocre. Good, good pizza. You could probably find good pizza around here. Just not at this place. It's mediocre. It's not good. It's covered in blood. They, this whole family's incestuous, I swear to God. They're bad people. They're rude. They hire goons and thugs to sexually harass women on the streets of Canton. No one is safe in Canton as long as the Alberts are running free. 
Why did Jim McCabe Google how long to die in cold at 2.27 a.m.? Why'd she do that? I'll tell you why she did that. Because she wanted John O'Keefe to die in the cold. That's why. And she wanted to know how long it was going to take. Free Karen Free Karen Lee, Lee baby! Yes, sir. We are going to get justice for Karen Reed and justice for John O'Keefe. Aren't we, folks? Aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Blood pizza. They got blood flavored pizza. Yes, they do. Everybody knows it in this town. I wish they could have the election again for Chris Albert. How much would he lose by like a million? I'd be down here every day campaigning for whoever runs against him. We need to impeach Chris Albert. Chris Albert killed the man. <laughs> We're back to this one. Chris Albert killed a man, Hungarian exchange student, in the late 1990s. Yes, he did. He uh, was in an accident because he was probably hitting a glug glug. Him and Jill Daniels getting smashed up. And then he decided to play bumper cars on I-95, which is ill-advised because he killed a man at 3 in the morning. Killed him. And then he left him to die. He didn't even stop to make sure he's okay. And then he sobered up. He avoided a DUI charge because of that. And he pled. He pled. Yes. Yes. Chris Albert killed a man. It's not just his son and his brother. He didn't want to be left out. How you doing? Yeah, you want a picture? Let's do it. You got a camera? I do, but how do we get this Oh, ridiculous. is there a recall process in your town? I don't even know. know. Yeah. We got to do, do something. I mean, whatever you need, I'm down. I'm down for it. Chris, heck? just resign. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you to be in the select board, Chris. Just do it for best for your family, best for everything. Who cares? You don't even know what they're talking about half the time. You can't spell CASA. You don't know what it stands for. <laughs> All right. All right. Got it? Yeah. Thank um, you. I'll look, for, I'll look to find that out. Yes. But what, what, I don't understand. I don't understand it either. He needs to step down. He needs to do the right thing for everyone and step down. Chris Albert needs to resign. Chris, why don't you do the one decent thing ever in your entire life and resign from the Board of Selectmen? You're a disgrace. I mean, look at your pizza shop, dude. This is embarrassing. Look at this. You look like you're closed. I mean, seriously. Should I start a GoFundMe for new curtains, dude? Come on. You gotta wash those windows. Wash your windows, Chris. Yes. Chris Albert killed a man. He once killed a man. It's kind of underreported. Yes. Yes, there he is. Chris Albert killed a man. Oh, that's a nice car. Yes. Don't, don't. You do not love the chicken parm. You do never say that. Never say that again, sir. It's gross. People only buy it because they feel bad for him. They feel bad for him. It's pity chicken parm. It's pity chicken parm. Yes, it is. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. They just feel bad. He can't pay his bills. Maybe Chris should be an honest businessman. Maybe he should invest in his business and then people will buy something from him that aren't friends and family. What's up with that, Chris? Oh yeah, we're getting a crowd for me. I love it, I love it. And we've only, the only one from the other side that ever shows up and talks to me is Jill Daniels. My friend, Jill Daniels, my good friend. Jill, come back. Come back and talk to me, Jill. Come back and talk to me, Jill. Yes, there she is. Chris Albert killed a man. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm running for mayor. Vote for me. I don't even know if you have one, but I want to be it. I'm self-declared mayor this time now. Daddy's here. Yes. I love it. Here they come. Here we go. Yes. 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 I love it. Yes, this is our town. Chris, it's not your town anymore, man. It's mine. I own it. They love it here. They love it. Everybody in town, Chris, when you go anywhere, looks at you like that. Like, just know that. You guys got to hide your faces. And that's not what innocent people do, Chris. That's not what innocent people do. If we got something wrong, hey, if we got something wrong, then let me know so we can clear your name. It's really easy. But you guys don't seem to want to do that, which is kind of suspicious. It's a little bit suspicious, Chris. Come on, if I, was con if I was accused of a murder I didn't commit, I would just be like, no, I didn't do it, and here's my evidence why. But for some reason, you guys can't do that. Oh, Colin wasn't in the house, he has an alibi. Okay, can we see it? No, it's top secret. Well, well then that, that doesn't do us any good, does it? Come on, save your son if he's innocent, Chris. But he's not innocent, because Colin Albert, 
was in the house. Yes, he was. Colin Albert was inside the house, 34 Fairview Road, on the morning of January 29, 2022. It's a fact. It's a fact. Michael Proctor never spoke to him. Yes, yes he is. Michael Proctor never even interviewed him. He was inside the house where someone was murdered. Chicken parm Charlie, king of the mediocre chicken parm. Wouldn't recommend it. Would not recommend it. Comes with a sign of murder. Extra blood, extra blood in there. Yikes, not good. Can you believe that? What did they, what did poor Karen Reed do to deserve, do to deserve any of this? Seriously, looked at him the wrong way. I mean, seriously, what, what didn't you guys like about her? Just talk to me, Jill. What's your problem with Karen Reed? Just tell me that, you really hate her. What'd she ever do to you? Did she ever do, come on, Jill. Is it because she's prettier than you, Jill? She is prettier than you. You guys graduated the same year. Her skin is fair. Yours looks like a, a beat up leather sofa on Austin Christmas, okay? I understand there's gonna be a little bit of jealousy there. I get it. But that doesn't mean you have to frame her for murder. You can't frame someone for murder that Colin was inside the house for. He was inside, Jill. You know he was. And it, it's gonna come out. And he got grand jury. She said that she got grand jury three times. She's like, I've been grand jury three times. I'm like, well, aren't you grizzled? Well, aren't you grizzled? Yes. 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 I love it. We're here in Canton, folks. Here in downtown Canton. Colin Albert, sir, was inside the house. Good Thai food. Good Thai food. Not so good pizza. Not so good pizza. Yes. Here they come. They're honking it up for Turbo. Boy. Honking it up for Turbo. Even the mailman is honking. Chicken pop challenge. Yes. Yes, the mailman. Yes. 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 Who loves the Turtle Boy? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes. This is awesome. Is I'm the I'm the mayor now, Chris. Resign, Chris. That's my seat. I, when I go to the board of selectmen meeting Tuesday, should I go? I'm, that's my seat, Chris. You better save that seat for me. That's mine. It's my seat now. I'm in charge. You're not in charge anymore. This is a coup. You're no longer in charge, Chris. It's our town now. Colin was inside the house. And Chris, why are you hiding, man? You got a lot to say. You came out the other day. You followed your, your thugs across the street there. And you called up the Galvins. You called up the Galvins to save you, didn't you? Jen McCabe's Dumbo sister there, big sister, and their dopey husband, Bob Galvin. You called them down nice to... Job, oh, thank you very nice much. Turtle. Oh, I love it. I like it. It's fat, what did say? Fat turtle? <laughs> fat turtle. <laughs> now, am, am I getting fat? Is that, is that, is that, I'm trying to work out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. We, we need justice for Karen Reed. And I'll tell you what, like the police, I, I think I've seen two cops total. The one cop who came, we talked, he did not want to be here. Yes, I love it, yes. Look at this, look at this, folks. Yes, even the mailman loving it. Yes, yes. Yes, I love it, I love it. Uh, if you're hungry, get the Thai food. Don't get the chicken pie. Don't get, yes. What do we got here? Colin was in the house. Colin was inside the house. Colin was inside the house. It's true. Colin Albert was inside. Where's your, where's your pink shirt? What? Where's what? your pink shirt? Why would I have a pink shirt? Where's your pink shirt? Where are your pink shirts? Where are your pink shirts? Okay. Uh, I don't have any pink shirts, but okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know about that, that guy. We're not even going to go there. Okay. What's that? So Colin Albert was inside the house and everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. Yes, they were. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was, folks. Colin Albert was inside the house. What do we got next here? Oh, we got here. Hey, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. What? Chris just ducked down. Oh, Chris, where are you? Chris, come on, Chris. I just want to talk to you. Why are you sending your thugs after Karen Reed's attorneys and the 2020 producers, Chris? Why are you hiding? He ducked. He ducked. He ducked. He opened it. He ducked. What's up with that, Chris? What is up with that? Oh, tell me you didn't get the you didn't get the chicken palm, did you? Oh. Okay. I wouldn't recommend anything in there. Okay. Yes. Jim Farris is wrong. 
Yes, he is. They're really rude here. They're really rude to customers. Of, they chase away customers from CF McCarthy's. He's bad for business. And he's a selectman. He's a selectman. And he owes like a million dollars. He doesn't pay his bills. Jim Ferris is rude. Don't let your kids around Jim Ferris. He's going to yell at them, especially if they're girls. He calls them whores. He calls women whores. It's really rude. He's a rude person. He's rude. And I just want to talk to him, and he won't talk to me. I came all the way to your town to have a conversation with Jim Ferris, and he won't talk to me. Why not? Why won't he talk to me? I don't know. I guess he doesn't like me. I don't know. I thought he liked me. He invited me all the way here. Yeah, yeah, they love it, man. They love it. Yes. Yes. Yes, I love it. Jim Ferris is a rude person. They're losers. Losers. Blood pizza. Blood pizza inside of DNA pizza. It's tainted in blood. It's tainted in blood. Wouldn't do it. They kill a lot of people around here. Everybody. Hungarian immigrants, Boston cops. They frame random Fidelity employees for murder. Oh, they're horrible. And then if you're an attorney from out of state, don't even think about coming here because Jen McCabe's Dumbo sister will come down here and tell you that it's her town. Well, I got news for you, Denise. It's my town now. And I came to your house today at 480 Boulevard Street and I couldn't knock on your door because you put up a no trespassing sign. It's really rude. It's rude. Yes, yes. All oh, these people have a lot to say. Where is he? Where's Chicken Park Charlie? Hey, we got a little house. She, she drives a Lexus. She probably killed someone. Yes, 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 yes. That woman in the GX. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, absolutely. Give me one second. There you go, bro. Yeah, let's do it. I, I did it. That's a fist. That's my husband. Oh, nice to meet. Which one? Which one's your? Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, pleasure. Excellent. Yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll switch it around like this. There it is. It's, it's facing that way. They work in very high places. Mom, finger. Salute. Salute, Mom. Go ahead. Salute. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. How's it going? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. We uh, oh you came all the way from Bridgewater okay all right well it's not lasting too much longer media we're getting a crowd here though people are starting to come down it's the rush hour it's the dinner hour rush hour people don't want their blood pizza anymore blood pizza not good not good where's Helena Rafferty Helena come talk to me you 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 said rude things about me at the board of selectmen meeting Helena. Just want to talk to you. How dare you say that we can't express our First Amendment rights in town? How dare you say that? Yes. How dare you? That's the cop that came down. I mean, I felt bad for that guy. He came down here and he's just like, he did not want to be here. He's just like, who called the cops? Oh, Jim Farris. Because Jim, Jim Farris got his feelings hurt, I guess. And I just wanted to talk to him. And he wouldn't talk to me. So he called the cops. He's a cop caller. Cop killers, cop callers. How ironic. How about that? Blood pizza. Don't get the pizza here. It's tainted in blood. They kill people inside. Well, mostly on Fairview Road or the highway. But, you know, maybe in there too. I don't know. Because we don't know where Chloe is. We still don't know where Chloe is. Where's Chloe, Chris? Tell me where Chloe is now. We want to know. Should we stop looking? Is she dead? Let us know. Everyone keeps asking me that in the comments. I don't know the answer. Come on. Blood pizza inside, it's tainted. Is that a th Oh yes, I thought I got the key and salute for a second. <laughs> yes. Oh, Chloe's buried in the pool? I hope not. I hope not. Yes. I hope not. Yes. Blood pizza, folks. We don't recommend it. It's tainted with the bloods of innocence. The bloods of innocence. How's it going? Picture? Hey, how you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? You want to do a picture? Yes, yes because I want to talk to you. I think I'm on camera, more, though. I don't care. Okay. I think more people would come and support. I've been following you since second week in May, 
people live in this town who are afraid of talking to people? They shouldn't be. No, but I'm saying yeah. I think it would be a lot more. I'm giving you my input. Yeah. I follow you. I never comment. Yep. I just talked to Richie up there. But I'm just saying to a lot more people, but we shouldn't be, but we are. You shouldn't be. I know, they're, but I'm being truthful. They're a bunch of cowards. I mean, I, I'm, I'm here to illustrate how wow. these people are not scary. I come down here. By, oh, look at They're hiding. He's looking through the curtains. Wow. There. See, I come down here. And all these big tough guys are run canton. I'm five foot eight, 170 pounds. I come down here and they hide. They board up the windows. They call the cops. They're a bunch of cowards. The well, cowards of Ken. Well, you know what the problem is? Is the problem with this? The judge needs to go. Oh, but Auntie Bev, horrible. You know horrible. What? what? I don't. What, Auntie what do Bev. They need? How dare you, Auntie Bev? Get your act together and brush your teeth. You're gross. You look disgusting. Come over there, boy. He has to do it. But I'm yeah. just. What's happened? Thank you. Very welcome. My pleasure. That's what I'm trying to We're here tell to save Ken. I think it would be more now at well, the select board. Nobody well, can talk uh, to you. As well, you can see, we got a crowd hey, hey, forming hey. here. Yes, Blood Pizza. My husband. Oh, hey, excellent. Hey, Good man. Not... Good man. You know, we got people joining our peaceful protest out here. Free Karen Reid. We're gonna free her. She's gonna be free. Yep. Cause she didn't do anything wrong. She did nothing wrong. Yes. 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 I love it. Don't get the media the pizza. Pit, yes! Yes! I got a picture last week of Karen Reed over the Oh, yeah? No, they kicked them out of there. They won't I go. heard. They're shutting down free speech all over Canton. The banning people from talking at the Board of Select meetings. They won't let people hold signs on public sidewalks. Well, except when I come to town, then the cops just disappear. It's so weird how this happens. You know, the police station, they got barriers down there. I just saw them put the Well, it's bits. like, you know, I come to town. And they're all, oh, Turtle Boy's coming, he's bad, he's gonna, and then Helena Rafferty tells the cops to stay away. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna ask you some questions. I wanna ask why you didn't find any taillight at six in the morning. And then Michael Proctor, the taillight whisperer, did. What's up with that? Isn't that kind of contradictory? Yes, yes. And it's not a coincidence that Chris Albert had her found up Lawyer, it? I believe it was, yeah. Chris Albert's court appointed attorney. Yes! Yes! I forget that whole story. It's all incestuous. All these people, I swear to God. Yes! Yes! I love it. I love it. Is that a, is that a, is that full of dogs? It's a bus full of dogs. Okay. Yes! 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 Yes!
to get my uh, vengeance again, not vengeance, I don't know, to, to, to reclaim my dignity and confront this man, this massage therapist, Jim Ferris. He calls women whores. He calls them whores. When you spoke to Michael Morrissey's son, oh. he said that was his uncle at first. Yeah, but it was his son. No, I know that. Yeah, yeah. He, he was embarrassed. I wouldn't say Michael Morrissey's my dad either. I, I don't blame him. You got a phone call back? I have not got a phone call back yet, no. His wife didn't seem too pleased. We got a free guy. Is that John from King Confidential? There's John Cove, King Confidential. <laughs> Loving it with the free oh. Karen Reed sign. Free Karen. He posted a King Confidential that he wanted to meet me here. And then he ran away and he called the cops on me. <laughs> he called the cops. 5-0. What's up with that? Jim Ferris is rude. He's a rude person. He's so rude. He doesn't welcome out of towners. If you're not from Canton, he tells you to go back where you came from. Because Denise Galvin says it's her town. It's my town. Correction, it was your town. Now it's Turtle Boy's town. You're no longer in charge. That's why you people got to board up your cardboard windows that you don't clean. I mean, can we just talk, if you just get me, look at the decor here. Look at this. Dude, they still have the Christmas decorations up. They got the Christmas lights up still. I mean, can we wash the windows? Is that too much to ask? What are these load bearing rocks? What are these things? And the screen's coming out. Oh my goodness. Christmas candle. No wonder the, the business. Oh, the right there. No wonder he can't pay the pepperoni man. Can you believe that? The oh, they just keep a screwdriver around? What else do we got here? A lot of pots. Uh, it's probably all that guy. That guy smokes like 100 cigarettes a day. Hey, there they are. Jim Ferris is. I got my sign. Oh, that's okay. It was an impromptu protest. I didn't tell anyone. It was a top secret. It was a top secret. I just, because I didn't want to ruin it with Jim. I didn't want him to get intimidated. So it was just going to be me and Jim having a conversation. But then Jim ran away. So who's the muscle for DE Pizza now that Jim's gone, huh? Chloe, who's the man? Who's the muscle? Who's the muscle? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yes, there he is. Long day work for that guy. Yawning. That's okay. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. You guys want signs? Anyone want signs? I got a bunch of signs. You can pass them around. I got three. There we go. Jim Farris is rude. He's rude. He's so rude. He's so rude. He's so rude. Just, if Alan Jackson and, and Liza Little are watching this, don't listen to them. You're very welcome, McKinnon. I'm sorry you had a bad experience That's here. That's horrible. Yeah, have you have a, you're a free people in a free country, and that guy is not in charge. He has no right to tell you that, yes, he has no right to tell you that you can't go inside of C.F. McCarthy's. It's a free country. Yes, it is. How rude. As Michelle from Full House used to say, how rude. How rude. Yes, free carry. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're gonna free this woman. She did nothing wrong. Her and her lawyers, they think they can bully them and kick them out of this town. Why? Because they're trying to do like a little research and free their client because you scumbags are covering up and Chris's brother and Chris's son. Yeah, yeah, we know what they did, Chris. He gave me a dirty look in there. That's okay. I don't like him either. That's okay. He killed a man. That's okay. Chris killed a man. Chris, I'm not really interested in the affection of Chris Albert. Jim Ferris is, because that's how bad Jim Ferris's life is. Guys, I'm telling you, oh my God, his car was the worst smelling thing at all. I would never wish that upon anyone. Yes, it smells like Jill Daniels armpits. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Oh, disgusting. Yes, thin blue line. They killed John O'Keefe. They did. They did. Yes. Jim Ferris is rude. He's rude. He kicks you out. Can you believe that? Jill, come back. Come back, Jill. I, I, I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot, Jill. I know you're watching right now. We had a nice conversation there in traffic before. I'd love to see you again. Yes. Free Karen Reed is right, baby. Free Karen Reed. She did nothing wrong. Free her. Free Karen Reed. Free Karen Reed. Yes, baby. Justice for John O'Keefe. Justice for John O'Keefe. How rude. How rude. Oh. So look, what time is it? Anybody know what time it is? I love this. Hold on, hold on. It's about 5.45. 5.52. 5.52, okay. I'm going to get out of here in like 10 minutes. We'll, we'll do it till 6 o'clock. Can you get a picture of me with all of them? Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Of all of them. There we go.
Well, maybe try to avoid people will start coming out. <laughs> Woo! I think she's on coma. <laughs> Free Karen Reed. Free Karen Reed. Reed. All, right. All right, thank you. Thanks, brother. Woo! What's happening, brother? Free Karen Reed. Jim Farris is rude. He's a rude person. Yes, there he is. Turtle, get him. Yes, Free Karen Reed. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. We already got him, I feel like. You got a fish on the hook. You got a fish on the hook. Free Karen Reed. The owners of DNE Pizza, the pizza's covered in blood here because they kill people inside. Watch out, be careful, kids. There's a couple killers walking loose around your town. They kill people. Free Karen Reed. Free Karen Reed. Yes. 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 There's nothing wrong. I love it. It's my town, Chris. It's mine. It's not yours anymore. It's my town. Yes. Thank you very much. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do. Wow. That is awesome. Who's can Who's can playing tonight in football? You know. Yeah. At home. Oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, I could have got a game. Okay, they could have got a game. They're playing Dedham. I wish them the best. I wish them the best. The kids in the youth football team did nothing wrong either. It's just, it's just this guy. It's just him. It's he's. I got a life. I wish John O'Keefe had a life. You scumbag. License plate M A F. M A F is his license plate. M A F. Yes. He tells me to get a life. Get. A, you a loser. I got a life. This is my life. Exposing douchebags and losers is my life. That's right, and I'm proud to do it. And we're going to get justice for Karen Reed. We are going to get justice for an innocent woman and the man, the love of her life, who was taken from her and she couldn't go to the funeral and she couldn't go to the wake. Can you believe that? Horrible. Horrible. Mm. Foaming at the mouth. Okay. Uh, is this my buddy, the cop? Is this the same cop? Is this Lank? Let's see. I'm looking for Lank. Where's Sean Good? Class of 98. Graduated with Jill Daniels and, and, my, and Michael Proctor's stupid sister. Who left her Facebook wide open and is the reason this whole thing's falling apart. Great job, Courtney Proctor. Yes, that's the guy from the video. That's the guy from the video. Yes, yes. Look at all these planes. You guys live under a flight path? I've never seen so many planes. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. Karen, hey, what's up? Free Karen Ray. Okay, so we got a couple of upcoming court dates. Trial March 12th, we ain't gonna get there. We're not gonna get there. Cause these scumbags, they're gonna start confessing soon. They need to, Chris, you need to do the right thing, Chris. I know he's your son, but you gotta do the right thing. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris, do the right thing. Do the right thing, Chris Albert. You got a chance to rectify yourself. Yes. Explain what happened to John O'Kay. Cause it wasn't Yes! Yes! I love it! Yes, there she is! They love us and kin! I'm the man now! Yes! Yes! So look at Chris. I'm just telling you, man, this is my appeal to you. Please, come forward. First of all, you gotta resign from the Board of Selectmen, obviously. A moron like you should not be in charge of a town budget that big. But on top of that, you should also tell the police and not Michael Proctor, like a real police, tell the real police, the FBI, what happened in that house. Because I know you know, Chris, and you, you, you're going to need to confess, man. You got to talk. You got to talk. Somebody's got to talk because it can't be Karen Reed. You're not going to be able to sleep. Maybe you will because you're a scumbag. I don't know. But we'll see. So anyway, Chris, we'll be back. We'll be back, Chris. We'll be back. We're not going anywhere. I love coming to Canton. Love meeting the people here. And, uh, you know, we can do this every Friday if you want. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do, brother. So we'll see everybody else on Friday, on Sunday night for the live show. Because tomorrow, Notre Dame football. Got to watch Notre Dame Ohio State. Uh, and yes, yes. Free Karen Reed.
Jim Farris is a rude man. Very rude. So, anyway, people, we'll see you guys Sunday night. Peace.